Dana White has revealed that the cost of working with the United States Anti-Doping Agency for drug testing in the UFC is approximately $7 million per year. The UFC enlisted the services of USADA in 2015 to address the prevalent issue of performance-enhancing drugs and mixed martial arts. White has previously stated that there is no financial benefit to the USADA policy for the promotion. We're sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Everybody gets drug tests. And actually, because guys popped for drugs on the last one, they pre-tested all these guys. I don't have USADA money yet. Slap's doing well, but we don't have USADA money yet. I pay seven million a year for USADA for UFC. Recently, the focus shifted to the newly created Power Slap promotion introduced by White and his team in late 2022. However, this venture faced its own drug testing challenges when several competitors tested positive for banned substances in tests conducted by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. To avoid a similar situation, future Power Slap participants will undergo testing prior to the events. Unlike the continuous testing conducted by USADA, NSAC only administers random tests before and after each event at its discretion. Despite the attention on power slap, the UFC remains committed to its partnership with USADA, with the organization investing a significant amount each year to ensure rigorous drug testing protocols are in place. The most recent power slap event took place on Rumble last Wednesday showcasing the continued growth of this new promotion.